just focus on myself, trying to do the best I can for my family and represent this great nation of ours. Mike, take us back to Christmas Eve. When you got the phone call from Dana White, where were you and what was your reaction when you found out you're fighting Silver? I'm laid on the couch, uh, getting all Christmassy with the kids. The phone rings, Dana White, oh, I better get this one. What's up, boss? And, um, yeah, he said, um, Mike, bad news. I'm, oh, great. He said, your fight in London is off. So, oh, that is bad news. And he says, but guess what, good news. I said, okay, okay, your fight in London's back on. I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm a little confused. And then he told me the change of opponent, etc., etc. Yeah, it changed everything, changed everything. Do you believe in fate? And the reason I'm asking that is you and Silva obviously came up the ranks here in London you know, you know, in the time at Cage Rage. And here you are many years later on the biggest stage for the UFC at the O2 Arena, sold out. I mean, do, do you think there's some sort of fate attached to that? I'm never, uh, I'm not a particularly deep person, and a lot of you might have guessed if you spent any time around me. Um, and I'm certainly not one I ever thought everything happens for a reason. But you know, just lately in my life, some things have been happening where I'm starting to, to rethink that. And I think maybe certain things do happen for a reason. I won't go into details, but there's some personal things that have happened in my life recently. Um, and I wanted this for years. I wanted to fight Anderson Silva for the title in London, you know. And here we, and I thought that would never happen, certainly when Anderson lost the belt and I had my ups and downs in my career. Uh, but here we are, you know, in the most iconic city in the world. Sold out crowd, fighting Anderson Silva in my prime and not in his prime, you know. So that, and that, that's good for me as well, you know, I'm not going to lie. This isn't the best version of Anderson. I would love to say that it was. And of course, that tips the balance a little bit in my favour. He's still a very, very formidable opponent and something that I need to be very careful with, you know. But uh, yeah. I, you know, I believe everything does happen for a reason. I'm just thrilled to be here and proud to be a part of this historic moment. Silva has mentioned that he didn't really see you as a future opponent. He didn't really think about you as such. Whereas, like you said, you've always envisioned this fight. Do you think that gives you an advantage that you've sort of been mentally preparing for this for a long time, whereas he might even be looking past you in some respects? Yes, I do believe he's looking past me. I do. I, you know, I know I've got under his skin and he's a little emotional right now, but... Um, I mean, is he still here? Is he, yeah, he's still here. Um, he doesn't like to do these types of things. Um, pardon, what was I saying? Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yes, I, I believe he is maybe underestimating a little bit. I know he's emotional right now and things like that, but I think as an opponent, he thinks that I'm somebody that maybe he shouldn't have to deal with. Maybe, shouldn't, maybe I'm beneath him. You know, and I know that's maybe some people's public perception, but believe you me, there's plenty of fight in me and I've trained accordingly. And if he underestimates me, that will be to his detriment. And considering, you know, like you said, he's a bit emotional right now. How important would you say that like psychological warfare is at this point uh, against Silva? Well, of course, I mean, you, you always go into fight the way you fight. But if you make somebody angry, they can make mistakes. He's not going to try and fight me any harder just because I may have said one or two things that he doesn't appreciate. You know, he's still going to fight with the same intensity. Um, so, you know, I mean, we'll see what happens Saturday night. But I'm assuming he's very well conditioned. I'm assuming he's in great shape and he's, he's ready physically and mentally. Well, so am I. Go, go ahead, Caroline. Yeah, I was just going to say, this morning you faced off for the first time. We talked earlier about what was said afterwards, but when you were standing looking into his eyes, one, what did you see? And two, what were you saying to him? We couldn't hear that. Yeah, when I looked at him, you know, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking, you're not as big as what I thought, you know, you, you know, because I thought he was much taller. He, he wasn't as tall as what I thought. Obviously, he's very slim. I know that. He's always, that's, that's, that's his body type. And when he was looking... It's like he was trying to convince himself, you know? I, th I felt like he was trying to convince himself. I said to him after a while, because you know there was a long silence, and then I said, what are you doing? Are you trying to intimidate me? You're not going to intimidate me. I'm not intimidated. I'm not one of these opponents that he's faced off with many, many times that knew this fight was over. A lot of his opponents were already mentally beaten and they were showing up for a paycheck and the fight was a formality. I wanted him to know that isn't the case here, my friend. I am coming here to fight with every heart and with every bit of heart and soul that I have. Every fiber in my body will be willing to win this fight. And if he beats me, I'll be the first to congratulate him. I'll be the first one to offer to take him out to dinner and say, well done. I'm, sure, I'm assuming he won't accept the invitation, but listen, I'm in the best shape of my life. Physically, mentally, this is the best version of myself. And if he beats me, then credit where credit's due. Well done. You've said many times that you're in the best shape of your life, uh, both mentally and physically. But why, though? Like, what, what was it about this? Was it this fight in particular that got you in such great shape, or is it something else that has made this? I have 
consistently overtrained, you know, so I haven't overtrained. I've still pushed myself to where I need to do, but I haven't overtrained, um, which is a real issue in mixed martial arts. You know, the way people train in MMA, there's so many different styles, boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, sparring, conditioning work, weightlifting, running. We're trying to cram it in and people overtrain, and I was very guilty of that. In many ways, the training that we do in mixed martial arts is back in the Stone Ages. You know, there's no real sports science applied to it yet. But some of it started starting to creep in. And Scott Prohaska, my conditioning coach, has done a great job in keeping everything where it needs to be, the correct uh, amount of output. So I've done that. Uh, I've kept my muscle on. I've worked with a nutritionist. In the past, I would lose body fat, but I would lose muscle as well. I've trimmed the body fat. I've kept the muscle on. I haven't overtrained, but I've pushed myself to the limit where it needs to be. Um, mentally, my boxing coach, Jason Perillo, has mentored me throughout this training camp and uh, he has me you know, in a very, very good place mentally. And this is my time. It's as simple as that. This is my time. If I don't do it now, I'll never do it. Michael, you, you mentioned sort of most of the opponents that have fought Anderson in the past being beaten going into the fight. Have you actually spent any time doing any sort of mind sport coaching or anything like that to prepare you for this? Or are you just going in as normal? Uh, you know, it's actually uh, quite funny. A, a sports nutrition, uh, sorry, yeah, nutrition. Uh, sports psychologist, pardon me. Sports psychologist that I've worked with in the past, a man named Brian Kane. Brian Kane. I'm talking so much, I'm starting to jumble my words. Uh, Brian Kane, I'm starting, I have a session planned with him this afternoon. He's worked with many fighters, many great athletes. Um, it's just a one last little uh, top up. I haven't done that the entire camp, but he reached out yesterday and said, if you want to get a quick session in, by all accounts.